Hello guys, I'm back. So now we can start the next topic, which is anti-cancer drugs. So anti-cancer drugs, they are broadly classified into cytotoxic drugs. That means which kill the cells, which are toxic to cells, or they can be targeted drugs. They will find target inside the cancer cells. So the classification, first group of drugs are called alkylating agents. They will attach the alkyl group to DNA and the drugs in the alkylating agent group, you need to remember these you can remember as if bus not present, take my cycle. Alkylating agents remembered as if bus not present, take my cycle. If means I phosphamide, bus means sulfa. not means nitrosoureas, P means procarbazine, T means timozolomide, M means mitomycin C, and cycle means cyclophosphamide. Cyclophosphamide. These are alkylating agents. Now, quickly the MCQs about them. Cyclophosphamide and I phosphamide they cause hemorrhagic cystitis. Hemorrhagic cystitis. Hemorrhagic cystitis. The treatment is steroid, and the prophylaxis is mesna. Hemorrhagic cystitis treated by steroid, prevented by mesna. Okay. Then um, busulfan can cause pulmonary fibrosis. We will discuss the mnemonic to remember pulmonary fibrosis. I hope everyone remember which drugs cause pulmonary fibrosis. Timozolomide is a drug of choice for gliomas. Timozolomide drug of choice for gliomas and mitomycin C is used for superficial bladder cancer and laryngotracheal stenosis or subglottic stenosis. So the special point about this drug is it is used topical, local anti-cancer drug, directly inside the bladder or in the trachea. So laryngotracheal stenosis and superficial bladder cancer we use mitomycin C, just like BCG. So these are the important alkylating agents and their special points. Then coming to platinum compounds, platinum compounds the name end with the platin, like cis platin, carbo platin, oxali platin. Now, special point about cisplatin to remember: it has three special side effects. It causes maximum nausea vomiting, maximum nausea vomiting. It is nephrotoxic and it is autotoxic. Special point about cisplatin: highest nausea vomiting, nephrotoxicity, and autotoxicity. Then, anti-metabolites. That most important drug in this case is methotrexate. 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 It act by inhibiting dihydrofolic acid reductase. Dihydrofolic acid reductase inhibition, dihydrofolic acid reductase inhibition, methotrexate, and special point to remember, it is a drug of choice for choriocarcinoma, choriocarcinoma, and special point, the side effect is liver damage. It is hepatotoxic, so LFT monitoring is required. Bone marrow suppression, beta. Bone marrow suppression is a common side effect of all anti-cancer drugs. Okay, yeah? bone marrow suppression, uh, the, diarrhea, alopecia, hyperuricemia. These are the common side effect of every anti-cancer drug. Okay, yes. The antidote for methotrexate is folinic acid, not folic acid. Folinic acid. Folinic acid is antidote. Antidote is folinic acid. Clear. Then coming to mitotic spindle inhibitors. Drugs inhibiting mitotic spindle are vincristin and vinblastin. Vincristin, vinblastin like drugs are mitotic spindle inhibitors. Now what is special to remember about vincristin? Vincristin is a drug which do not cause bone marrow suppression. We discussed all anti-cancer drugs can cause bone marrow suppression. Vincristin do not cause bone marrow suppression. Next we have our topoisomerase inhibitors. Topoisomerase inhibitors, the examples, drugs ending with rubicin, rubicin, like doxorubicin, donorubicin, epirubicin, these are topoisomerase inhibitors. So we already remembered ruby dil le jati hai, so rubicins cause cardiotoxicity, cardiotoxicity. These are cardiotoxic anti-cancer drug and it is prevented by dexrazoxy, prevented by dexrazoxy. Dexrazoxane prevent the cardiotoxicity caused by anti-cancer drugs. Then miscellaneous drugs, it include asparaginase, 
एल एस्पेराजिनिस एल एस्पेराजिनिस एंड ब्लियोमाइसिन these are under the miscellaneous category and both of these drugs do not cause bone marrow suppression no bone marrow suppression special point to remember l asparaginase is used for acute lymphoid leukemia and major side effect is pancreatitis pancreatitis is the main side effect use is all side effect is pancreatitis whereas bleomycin the main side effect are two it cause flagellated dermatitis flagellated dermatitis and second it also causes chemo man so this c c stand for cisplatin so cisplatin ke three important side effects autotoxicity smiling face means vomiting maximum vomiting and c kidney look like c means nephrotoxicity 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 then periphery look like v so v for vincristin and vinblastin when christian binoblastin they cause peripheral neuropathy and that is in the head also that means it is si adh secrete adh from the brain okay. then b it stand for bleomycin and busulfa so they will affect the lung they cause pulmonary fibrosis we have remembered them by better mnemonic which is cycle bus truck card drone wala yaad kar liya then heart look like d so doxorubicin donorubicin are cardiotoxic Even again, we remember the better mnemonic. Ruby dil le jati hai. So ruby sins are cardiotox. Then this look like six. Liver look like figure of six. So drug starting with six, like six mercaptopurine, six thioguanine, they are cardi uh, hepatotox. Six mercaptopurine, six thioguanine are hepatotox. Clear? And only complete cycle is cycle of bladder. So cycle of phosphamide it cause hemorrhagic cystitis. Cycle of phosphamide cause hemorrhagic cystitis. Is it clear? Okay. Sure. So that is about the typical, or we can say, cytotoxic anti-cancer drugs. Then coming to some antibodies, monoclonal antibodies which are used in cancer. You need to remember mainly three monoclonal antibodies: cetuximab, rituximab, and trastuzumab. Trastuzumab and related drug is pertuzumab. These are monoclonal antibodies. So, cetuximab you can remember C for colorectal carcinoma used for colorectal carcinoma, colorectal carcinoma, and cetuximab is a monoclonal antibody against HER1. HER1. The full form of HER1 is human epidermal growth factor receptor one. So basically, it is against epidermal growth factor receptor one. Her one is also written as EGFR. Simply one, नहीं लिखते. EGFR means her one. Her one means EGFR. Epidermal growth factor receptor. Human epidermal growth factor receptor one. So her one के against monoclonal antibody is cetuximab used for colorectal cancer. Then rituximab. So you remember the story of Ritu, जो मेरी class attend करने आई थी, बीस साल की लड़की थी. एंड उसको छुट्टी नहीं मिल रही थी तो मैंने उसको क्या सजेस्ट किया था कि अगर सीएल लेगी तो नहीं होगी लेट तो रिटुक्सी मैप रितु को क्या बोला सीएल ले लो तो नहीं होगी लेट ठीक तो इट इज मोनोक्लोनल एंटीबॉडी अगेंस्ट सी डी ट्वेंटी मोनोक्लोनल एंटीबॉडी अगेंस्ट सी डी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी ईयर ओल्ड रितु सीएल लेगी तो नहीं होगी लेट ओके देन ट्रास्टूजुमैप लुक लाइक ब्रास्टूजुमैप सो यूज फॉर ब्रेस्ट कैंसर ब्रेस्ट कैंसर And these are against HER2. Okay, ये HER2 के against monoclonal antibody है. So you can remember HER2. उसके दो क्या होंगे? HER2 breast are there. So used for breast cancer. So trastuzumab. And further, अगर trust करोगे, तो दिल तो टूटेगा ही. So trastuzumab will is cardiotoxic. दिल तोड़ देती है. Trastuzumab cardiotoxic है. तो मैंने बोला था कि breast वालों पे trust नहीं करने का. पर तू फिर भी करेगा पर तू फिर भी करेगा तो पट्टुजुमा तू फिर भी करेगा तो तेरा भी दिल टूटेगा तो पट्टुजुमा इज ऑल्सो कार्डियोटॉक्स पट्टुजुमा इज ऑल्सो कार्डियोटॉक्स क्लियर सो दैट इज अबाउट द इंपॉर्टेंट मोनोक्लोनल एंटीबॉडीज यूज्ड इन कैंसर्स ओके